Many people say that football players aren't the sharpest crayons in the box, or however that saying goes, due to the constant head trauma they receive whenever they get a hit. But believe it or not, there are some pretty intelligent football players. In today's video, we're going to be going over the top 10 smartest players of all time. And just a heads up, this is smart as in book smart, not game smart. So starting out, we have Pat McAnally. He is in fact the only NFL player to ever score a 50 on the Wonderlick exam. For those of you that don't know, the Wonderlick exam is a cognitive ability test that is used to measure the cognitive ability and problem solving skills of employees. This test is administered at the NFL Scouting Combine, and the test has the maximum score of 50. So yes, Pat McAnally scored a perfect 50 on this exam before he was drafted to the Cincinnati Bengals. This was in 1975, so it is kind of dated, but in 2007, he took the Wonderlick exam again and managed to only miss one question. After hearing this news, all he had left to say was, missed one? Not a bad score after six concussions. Just having six concussions alone is super impressive, but adding to the fact that he scored a 49 on the Wonderlick exam is proof that Pat McAnally might be the smartest player to ever play in the NFL. Moving on to our next player, we have the starting quarterback of the Miami Dolphins, Ryan Fitzpatrick. So like we said before, Pat McAnally was the only NFL player to ever receive a perfect score on the Wonderlick exam. While well, Fitzpatrick was able to come close with a solid 48 out of 50. This is still extremely good and to add on to it, the genius quarterback was able to get a 1580 when he took the SAT that was scored out of 1600. This is an insane score and it shows just how smart Ryan Fitzpatrick is. Not only is he a solid quarterback, but he is also a very intelligent person. Now moving on to the other side of the football, the third smartest NFL player plays cornerback for the 49ers and this player is Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman is known for making some pretty bold statements off the field and he has definitely backed these up by being one of the top cornerbacks in the league. Sherman isn't only a great player, but he's also very smart. One of the most impressive academic achievements that he possesses is his salutatorian position that he ended high school with. Along with this title, he also ended high school with a 4.2 GPA. This is extremely good given that the average GPA of a high schooler is a 3.0. This already proves that Richard Sherman is intelligent and his performance on the football field proves that he is highly skilled. But did you know that Richard Sherman also has the big bucks? His official net worth is $25 million. This kind of adds up on just how smart Sherman is because in order to be making that much money and keeping it, it takes a highly intelligent person. Sure, having a ton of money can prove that a player is smart money wise, but our next NFL player takes intelligence to a new level as he is a published author. This player is Benjamin Watson. Many people might know Watson as the tight end that played for the New England Patriots and helped lead them to a Super Bowl win against the Philadelphia Eagles. Earlier in the video, we were using the Wonderlick exam as a measure of intelligence and Watson ended up taking this exam and scored a stunning 48, which was the same score as Ryan Fitzpatrick. It's insane that this means that out of the whole test, Watson only missed two questions. Our fifth player on this list is John Urschel. Now you won't be able to see Urschel play in any NFL games anytime soon because he actually decided to retire due to a medical study surrounding the NFL. This medical study was researching CTE. CTE is a degenerative disease caused mainly due to the constant head trauma that many NFL players experience. The interesting thing about Urschel's retirement is that he decided to quit to pursue his doctorate in mathematics. Just imagine a player quitting football to pursue academics. That takes a really smart player. Urschel was able to see that the diseases followed football and he got out so that he wouldn't hurt his future. Touching on the Wonderlick exam, when Urschel took the test, he received a score of 43. This is a great score and yet he was still disappointed in himself. This just shows how important academics and self-improvement are to Urschel. Now our next player might not have been the best player on the field, but he definitely was a hidden genius. This player is Mike Mamula. 
Mike played for five seasons in the NFL as a linebacker and a defensive end for the Philadelphia Eagles. When he took the Wonderlick exam, he received a 49. This is the second highest score ever achieved on the Wonderlick exam. Sadly, Mamula's career ended when he had to retire due to injuries. He did so in 2000, but he definitely had some pretty impressive performances, especially in the NFL Combine. Moving on, we have a wide receiver straight out of Utah State. This player went on to play for the Miami Dolphins, Philadelphia Eagles, Kansas City Chiefs, and the Tennessee Titans. This player was Kevin Devon Curtis. He showed insane strength when he was able to survive testicular cancer in September of 2010. Although this is super impressive, this video isn't about strength, it's about book smarts. And Curtis also had a ton of this. When it came time to take the Wonderlick exam, he showed up and scored a 48. This was the same score as both Fitzpatrick and Watson, and it is a crazy good score. I mean, imagine getting 96% of the questions right on the Wonderlick exam. Now, it's very common for NFL players to reach out to foundations they support and donate large sums of money. Our next smartest player is Matt Burke. And he took this to the next level when he created the Hike Foundation. This foundation's main goal is to improve the reading skills of at-risk students in schools. I guess anyone can really do this no matter how smart they are, but Burke proved how smart he was by graduating from Harvard and scoring a 46 on the Wonderlick exam. I mean, scoring a 46 is one thing, but graduating from Harvard is a very impressive achievement. Now there is much debate in the NFL community surrounding what position requires the most intelligent to play, and one of the leading contenders is the QB position. Here, players have to lead their team in any situation they face, and they also have to have a pretty good memory to remember how to execute every play and read the defense properly. Our ninth spot on this list is home to Drew Henson, who before coming to the NFL was a third baseman in the MLB. After Henson joined the NFL, he played for six years, and during this time, he realized that his dream was to play baseball instead. After he left the NFL, he returned to baseball as part of the scouting team for the New York Yankees. Even though he did lead the NFL, he is still one of the smartest players of all time, scoring a 43 on the Wonderlick exam. Moving right into our final person on the list, we have another quarterback. His name is Blaine Gabbert. And it's a good thing that Gabbert was smart because his time in the NFL has been pretty rough. He holds the record for the most fumbles by a quarterback and he is third for the most time sacked. Believe it or not, probably the most impressive part about Blaine Gabbert is that he's a college dropout. Even though he never finished college, he was still able to secure a 42 on the Wonderlick exam, which is really impressive. Well, that wraps it up for the top 10 smartest players of all time. All of us at Viral Touchdowns appreciate you for watching all the way through this video and we will see you all in the next one.